What's up guys, it's Jared Tuck here. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about my five favorite springtime baits when I'm fishing for largemouth. Now these are gonna be in no particular order, and I also wanna say real quick that in the springtime, the fish are really biting. It's the best time of year to fish, in my opinion, and probably every other bass angler's opinion too. So you can use any bait you want to in the spring, really. Fish are really active. They'll pretty much eat anything you throw at them. These are just my five baits that I prefer uh, for largemouth bass. And this was hard to really narrow my bait selection down to just five baits because I use so many baits in the spring, so many. But let's get right to it and talk about the baits that I've chosen. So the first bait I wanna mention is a square bill. So this is just a KVD 1.5 bluegill colored square bill. Um, you can use a shad pattern or a crawl pattern, but I picked out the bluegill pattern just because you're mostly gonna be fishing shallow and the places where I fish shallow for largemouth are primarily lakes and in those lakes the main forage that stays really shallow is a bluegill and so if you're fishing shallow just trying to cover water a square bill that imitates a bluegill works great. Personally I'm more or less a finesse fisherman. I fish a lot of finesse baits. When it comes to springtime fishing though I want to be able to catch those fish on moving baits or something a little bit different than what I normally use. So the next bait I'm going to mention is a spinner bait. Now, you guys probably know why I'm choosing a spinner bait. Probably one of the most famous springtime baits there is. It just gets huge bites. It's great to cover water. You can fish it around docks. You can fish it around wood. You can fish it around grass. I mean, you can fish it at almost any depth. It's just a great bait. It gets bit. I like the double willow leaf blades. And then I also got a white and chartreuse one, and I like to throw that little trailer hook on there. The third bait I want to mention, now I couldn't make this list without a topwater bait, but my topwater bait of choice is actually a buzz bait. This may not be a common choice for springtime fishing. I think you can cover a ton of water with them. In the springtime, I really like to just aggravate those fish, and I feel like something that disturbs the water a lot, like a buzz bait, it just gets hammered. The fish love it for whatever reason. In the springtime, they just kill it for me. So I love buzz baits. They cover a ton of water, and they get big bites. So the next bait I'm going to mention is a little beaver here. Let me focus on it. There we go. Anyway, this is a green pumpkin beaver. I don't have a hook on it or anything right now, but you guys know the deal. Put your little offset worm hook on there or an EWG or even a flipping hook and then put a little small uh, Texas rig tungsten weight or even a lead weight, 3 16 ounce, a quarter ounce, all the way up to a half ounce if you want, depending on what type of cover you're fishing. But this is a great bait to pitch around laydowns, a great bait to pitch on beds, a great bait um, just to do really anything whenever you're fishing shallow. You can fish it around grass, almost anything. It's just a really versatile bait. Anyway, a beaver is a great bait. If you don't have any kind of creature baits or beaver baits, then go buy you some. They work great in the spring. The last bait I want to mention is a big fish catcher. Uh, it catches a ton of big fish for almost everyone, and that's just a jig. This is a little green pumpkin jig. I've paired this green pumpkin jig up with a little net bait pocket chunk on the back and that pocket chunk really has a lot of movement in the water. But I'm really gonna change my trailer depending on how cold the water is in the spring, what part of spring um, I'm fishing. So if I'm fishing early spring, I'm gonna go with more of a subtle trailer, and then I'll put this pack of chunk on as it gets warmer. So that's a list of my top five baits for largemouth fishing in the spring. If you notice, I didn't put any finesse baits on this list, and the reason for that is, is I didn't want to mention finesse baits because when it comes to springtime fishing, I'm really trying to get huge bites. I'm trying to catch the big fish. I'm not trying to catch the little fish um, like I'm catching the rest of the year because the springtime is the best chance I have at catching a big fish because that's when they come up shallow. And these are the best baits that I feel like you can use to get one of those uh, big bites up shallow. Again, there's a lot of baits that I didn't mention that will catch you fish and that will catch you big fish, but I wanted to limit this video down to only five baits just to kind of give you guys an idea of the baits I use and what are five baits that you could go pick up at a store and catch fish with this spring if you're just now getting into bass fishing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments section if you enjoyed the video or not. If you don't like videos like this, then I'll stop doing them, but if you do like it, I'll make more tip videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and as always, go take someone fishing.